Well, hello, guys. Today, I wanted to actually do a video on Sven Co-op. Now, this is a game that I played a lot um, when I was growing up. This is like my favorite Half-Life mod ever. Anyway, I wanted to kind of talk about the history a little bit, uh, at least my experiences with it, and then how it ended up today. So I, I started playing in Sven Co-op 3.0, which was back in, I don't know, 2003 or so, 2004 maybe, and it, this game is it's basically Co-op Half-Life with um, high focus on team play, and it was the first real multiplayer experience I ever got in a game. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of Team Fortress back then, really, the first one. Team Fortress 2 hadn't come out, and... There weren't many multiplayer games that I, I really enjoyed playing. So, Sven Co-op was the game I really played. Now, um, <clears throat> as you can see here, there's quite a few servers maxed out with players. This has not been the case since Sven Co-op 3.0 and prior. Uh, in fact, I'd say there's more players on now than ever before. There's a lot of players on now. It's unbelievable, actually, the amount of servers. Uh, th this game had nowhere near this amount of players. Back then, it, it was just it was just this nice, fair community. But um, seeing this is really nice. But anyway, so back in the day, you you had to just do this same thing. Really, it's pretty much the same the same game, just slightly modified. And I'll explain all the changes they made since 3.0, or at least some of them. So you just hit join game when you get in the menu. And you get to pick a server with different maps. There's tons of different maps. There's a lot of different maps. You can download map packs online, or you can just join somebody else's servers and, and scroll around with the maps that they have. But there's a ton of different maps. So let's let's go and, and uh, kind of go and do the most important maps here. Is that they have single player campaigns here. You can go and do the. You can play Half Life. Um, with friends, so that was kind of the the grabbing point of the game, and this and that was even since the original Svenkov, and that's why I really loved it, because I was able to play Half Life with my family, um, and, and instead of playing alone, so that was really really cool, guys, and that that's a thing that's been upgraded ever since since 3.0 and, and since the original actually, but like I said, having having being able to play with friends has been great, so um. There's also things called Ent Maps, which people used to play on a lot, and those are just kind of sandbox maps. It was that was before Minecraft existed, really. It was sandbox, so you can um, you can build stuff in the game, and you can spawn monsters for people, and it's cool. And if you had Ent, then you you have to go beneath the map because that's where all the stuff was in there. You couldn't just spawn things out of nowhere back in Half Life. If something wasn't on the map, then you couldn't do anything with it. You could you couldn't spawn it in, or else the server would crash. So that was a common thing that would happen. But it's nice here because you can play Half Life. So let's see here. There's this map that they made. I think this actually just got created relatively recently, like spend 4.5 or something. And so the changes that have been made, they're quite substantial since 3.0. In fact, um. There's mostly, not, almost, I mean, in terms of graphics and all that's the same, but they changed so much. So, this map is really cool because this allows you to play the opposing force chapters, which is the expansion pack, and the original Half-Life chapters, and the other expansion pack, Blue Shift, with friends. And there's a portal here that you can enter, which is kind of cool. Um, and you don't even have to own Half-Life anymore. You can download it on Steam for free, which is so cool, guys. I, and I know it might not seem like anything to you guys, but growing up, playing this and eventually finally after 17 years having it on steam is unbelievable it's it's you can play it on steam guys it's just to me that's absolutely mind-boggling you can download it um, and play it on steam as a standalone game you don't even need to own the the the, the uh oh it's one of these Whee! I love it. This map you actually cannot play without two players. Okay, well that's that's not cool. I mean that's cool, but not for my purposes. So let's go into one of the Half-Life maps. Uh, these actually weren't how the maps were labeled in the original. They were like C1, A1, or something. Okay, well let's go over the changes in weaponry. 
um, since 3.0. Okay, so if you notice, some of these guns aren't like the original Half-Life ones at all. Slightly modified. All the skins are essentially pretty much modified. Sven 3.0 had the HD textures, but these are all different. These are all skinned uh, editions of the original. So, the crowbar is a different skin entirely. Uh, I mean, it, it just looks like a higher resolution texture than the originals, but it, it's not that much different. Pistol! Sounds different. Looks different. The Magnum looks different and sounds different. Not that much different though. It doesn't look that much different though. This is really it's kinda it's pretty much the same gun, but I believe the fire rate was increased. And Yeah, it looks different. You can also scope in, which is really cool. Shotgun, this is completely different than the original one. Um, left click is the kind of standard, but for the right click, instead of a double barreled shot. Oh, okay, that's new to me actually, guys. So in some servers, I noticed the right click is a um, auto shotgun. This one actually seemed to have diverted back. This must be a relatively new feature, diverted back to the original, where it was a double shot. So that's cool. But otherwise, it'd be completely different. This is the same, pretty much. Uh, then there's this gun. This gun is completely new. And this gun replaces... It, so these two guns kind of replace the original um, assault rifle. This one fires only in three three shot bursts. They do a lot of damage though, so it's kind of worth it. Reload time is a lot longer than, the, this, than this one. But um, you can right click and shoot a grenade out of it. So that's cool. Um, Tau Cannon essentially the same and most of the guns are the same they added some of the uh, the uh, opposing force weapons which is really nice and you'll notice another thing is that whoa mod enemies end up in different places in this than than the original there's tons of new different enemies oh wow they're really going for a co-op experience on this one guys you can restart the map if everybody dies wow I'm, you know I'm really shocked because in, in 3.0 you just respawned and that was lame so now I guess if everybody dies if everybody dies you get a, you run a vote and you can restart the map or do it uh, move to the next map that is just unbelievably cool that's a huge change it's just a huge change uh, also, just the incredible player base now is, is just mind-boggling. I'm, I'm really loving it, guys. I'm really, really, really loving it. It's so, it's so, just so different. It's not something I, I expected to see. Uh, I, I'm actually surprised the game managed to retain this many players after such a, a long duration, a long life. Uh, and that I guess I guess it really did hold up on Steam when it was released on Steam and just people playing it. There's so many fun maps, guys. There's like Toon Run, it was really cool. Like oh my god, it's a cool map. There's also Secret City, which is like a, a big secret map. Your goal is to find secrets. There's also um, some guy used to run the original um, Afraid of Monsters Director's Cut mod into Sven. So, every year that goes by, just the co-op experience gets better. These guys still work on it. It's unbelievable. And, and that's from a mod that just started out as basically multiplayer Half-Life. It was all buggy. And it just turned into this. I can't believe things are still getting updated. It's honestly, it's really worth playing. It's absolutely worth playing, guys. It's worth looking at. It's, it's a game that you might want to check out, especially if you really liked Half-Life, you're feeling nostalgic. It's definitely what you want to look at. And try to play it. Just play it, you know? Go into it and pop into a server, and you get to see how nuts people are in the game. It's absolutely worth your time. So give it a go, guys, and uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Spen or Half-Life today. Because I'm curious what other people think about Half-Life. Uh, is it, you know, is it outdated or dated, I should say? Is it kind of obsolete, irrelevant now? Just let me know, guys. All right, see you next time. Hey, Bob the Builder. Oh, oh, it's off.
He's off his body! He just turned off! Who's the Aiden? Oh, Bray? Yeah, I'm hearing say that there's like four or five zombies down here. Oh, dude, come on. You got this. Wow, you just closed the door of the zombie face and that made him cry. Right. You made a zombie cry. This is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Go ahead and turn. 